Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here with Geekazine. We got Rick Van over. We're gonna talk about something new for some of your IT pros. We're gonna do that next. Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine, Think Magazine, put in the geek you've got. Geekazine, we got a geek here, Mr. Rick Van over of Aveem, V E E A M. And you guys just announced something that is kind of taking you into new areas into uh, into replication backup and stuff like that. So why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, you know, Veeam's had a great history with the data center, virtualized business technologies, and we've been scheming this announcement that we made today on the 8th, 8th of October. Yes, had to double check. <laughs> um, it's, it's, been, it's been a good long time. So. Yeah, I just want to make sure I you know didn't make it look like I was talking about it ahead of time. Yeah. But... Uh, this morning, uh, here in Las Vegas, we announced that we're going to offer a new product, Veeam Endpoint Backup Free. Now, this is a backup product for endpoints, Windows 7 and higher, Windows Server 2008 and higher. Mm -hmm. And this is meant for IT pros to protect the data that they want to protect on non-virtualized systems. So, it's going to, I hope, it's going to be pretty disruptive. I mean, we've had great success with the data center in a virtualized market and you know especially a revenue product but the free products have always been part of our strategy yeah. and this event Vmon is you know we call it the industry's first data center availability event mm -hmm. but this was really meant as a launch vehicle for our our paid product the Veeam availability suite for virtualized environments version 8 the, the new version but also kind of a launch vehicle of the news as a as a secondary yeah. term yeah. of Veeam endpoint backup, and I'll I'll tell you, Jeffrey, people have wanted an answer from Veeam to protect that last mile uh, okay. of their IT footprint, and I, I'm really hoping that this will help them get there. Now you said it was for uh, Windows 7 machines, and uh, but n nothing lower, n no Mac, no no Linux, mm -hmm. no no uh, whatever other other right. operating systems are out there. Uh, you also discount. Uh, also said it's, it's not an impossibility that that could happen. Everything's planned, and what I mean by that is, we're going to make a decision for the best market impact at the time. Okay. For now, that is endpoints that support Win Seven in two thousand eight. Okay. Beyond that, I you know, who knows? And yeah. then I guess what I'm going to say is I'm going to give some evidence backwards of when it's the right time to make a decision to add a platform. In November of 2011, our paid backup and replication product added Hyper-V support, which in hindsight was really the right time to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we kind of had good sequencing that we built up and I was happy with the result of that step. And then from there, um, what's the next platform? So now here in October 2014, granted it's up through a different product, this is the right time to announce endpoint stuff. Well, right now, right. right now it's an alpha, mm -hmm. and the release date's not until 2015 anyway. Correct. So you've got you've got some time to put this together. So yeah, yeah. Um, this, and, this was the right time to kind of announce it as yeah. an alpha, and then uh, next month is the plan. November we'll have a public beta. Okay. Now, I'm I'm kind of curious on this aspect. Is this a possibility that you, you could take a computer, back it up, and then turn it into a virtualized machine? There's a lot of things that are planned, but we have to. Be it's, real. it's not part of the uh, plan yet. It's not. It's not part of the offering yet. Okay. Okay. Well, that's that's pretty. Cool, in, so. in the alpha. So. Okay. Well, so. Yeah. yeah. But here's the thing to remember, and those that are familiar with the Veeam Promise, the Veeam brand, the important thing to know is we put it in a VBK. Mm -hmm. That opens a gateway to so many restore options. File, the Veeam Explorers. So very specific application type restore scenarios, okay. things that involve virtualization. It, it's going to be interesting. Okay, uh, and it's going to be perfect for for people like the nonprofit companies, the people that have salespeople on the road that that don't have internet connections, still use laptops. Mm -hmm. um, uh, from what I understand, certain Surface uh, models will be able to be backed up. Correct. Um, but not, no other tablets uh, on that aspect, um, since they're running Windows operating system. Anyway. Um, so the, I can see a lot of advantage 
for the company that isn't 100% in the virtual space mm -hmm. just yet or, or can't have plans to do that just yet. So, Yeah, the Surface one will be interesting. I personally use the Surface. I like it. I use an RT, and unfortunately that won't that, work. That won't work, yeah. But the Pros, which are you know a proper full Windows OS, those would be supported. In fact, my boss, Doug Hazelman, is running the Alpha on his Surface. Okay. You know, the logic is we're going to... We're, we're going to bring some features to a market, let's say endpoint backup, that, I'll be honest with you, Jeffrey, we're 30, 20 years late to the game, okay? Well, but, yeah, but gonna, you're, not the, you're not the only people that are 20, 30 years late to the that's game. That's true, <laughs> but we're, we're going to try to bring things like the, the, uh, like the installer, we'll build a recovery disk, mm -hmm. and um, just little things that will just make it easy. Plug in a removable drive and ask if you want to back up there. Little, little things that hopefully will make a big difference for data protection on the endpoint. Okay. Is there any plans to make a pro version of this with, with, with support and stuff? We've, well, actually, it's important to note the free version will include support, but it's for the free version. It's yeah. much like the support that our existing free products will have. However, we've called it Veeam Endpoint Backup. The fourth word is free. So, by way of... Um, prior behavior, our other products that have a paid offering take the same name, they just introduce an addition of standard Enterprise, Enterprise Plus, and then free. Since the company's been around, our very first product was a free product in 2007. Okay. And uh, since then, we committed to being back up free edition in 20, uh, 2012 with um, 6.1. So free is not going away. Okay. Free is actually going to probably be the the new wave of things. I mean, we've we've seen a few companies now uh, come out with free models, certain free models, and then of course they have the, the, their paid versions. And of course, you, and you guys are, are are no different on that. And uh, it, which is great because a person like me who doesn't have twenty thousand dollar budget, but still is that IT guy that still has to take care of my mom's computer, that still has to take care of uh, business computer and, and stuff like that. Now I can I can make a safe backup and, and put it all together and catalog everything. Yeah. What's the time frame? Well, first of all, uh, when when can they download the uh, the first version? So the public beta, and you know we will need a lot of people using it. You know, it's one thing when you have a, a virtual infrastructure that has a set of APIs that are a set of APIs. Yeah. When you have this wide expanse of different hardware and drivers and, and uh, OSs and their configurations. The, the QA footprints is, is is different. So we have kind of said that the beta will be very long. Okay. And um, November is when that will start, and then the plan is for the first quarter of 2015 okay. that it will be made available. Okay, perfect. So, um, and uh, where do people go to find it? Everything starts at veeam.com. Okay, and it'll be right on the front. Page. You won't be able to miss it. Okay, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> and, of course, if you don't know what Veeam is, go check it out, V-E-E-A-M. Dot com and go from there, Rick. Thank you Thanks, very much for your time. So. That's it. We got uh, there's a lot of stuff we're doing uh, over at Beam.com. Of course, you're, you guys uh, we're, we're doing videos where yep. you're interviewing I've, people. Uh, this has been the hot seat all yeah. week. Yeah. We're, we're uh, that's that's also going to be on Beam.com. You're going to have a special. Yeah, I'm probably going to uh, embed a lot of the interviews I've done with community leaders. I'm going to put those in some blogs and, and promote those out. So you're going to, you're also going to be on YouTube with these with these videos, correct? Yeah, they're going to go on YouTube, but I'm probably going to embed them in blogs at Beam.com and a couple of okay. other side topics. And we'll have, we'll have all the links over on YouTube. All right, Sounds good. Thanks a lot, Rick. Thanks, Jeffrey. There you go, over at Veeam.com. Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys geek out.